everybody, welcome back to another video. You will not believe what I found on UFB Direct. It's a really one of the best banks out there. Does the high APY and interest rate justify some of the flaws that I found? If you are considering UFB Direct for your high yield savings account, you definitely don't want to miss this video. And if you enjoyed this video, by the way, give it a like, consider subscribing to the channel, and don't forget to check the links in the description. With that being said, let's jump right into it. Is it really the best bank account of 2024? Now, I'm going to be warning you here because I found some things that I was not expecting. And I'm sure that you are going to be benefiting greatly from this video. So I'm going to be sharing this video as someone who has been using high yield savings accounts since 2022. I've also been doing a lot of research, making observations, giving insight to people, to you. And also I'm an engineer and I want to tell you why this matters here in a second. Now, if you are saving for a vacation, if you are saving for a nice getaway, go make sure that you visit Glacier National Park. It's one of the most amazing parks I've ever visited and been to. So I suggest that you go check it out. Now, with that being said, as an engineer, I like requirements. I graduated in 2012 and ever since I've been in love with requirements and requirements are simply goals so that we know what we are looking for when we are designing a bridge, an airplane, when you are doing and building and developing something. Now, with that said, the reason why this matters is because I develop a certain set of requirements that can help you filter through the noise in the world of high yield savings accounts. So make sure that you screenshot this and share it with your friends and family interested in high yield savings accounts. Now, I am not going to be going over all of these details right now because this is exactly what we're going to be covering over the next couple of slides in the UFC Direct Review. Now, with that being said, we're going to go over all of these details today. Now, let's jump right into the requirements or the best features for UFB Direct. And if you enjoyed this video, by the way, please give it a like, consider subscribing to the channel. And the competitive interest rate as of March 2024 of UFB Direct is 525%. Now, I must tell you here, I've been looking at a lot of high yield savings accounts and certainly this is one of the highest ones that I've seen. There are only a handful that are above 5% right now as of March 2024. And certainly, this is one of them. Now, if you're someone that is a new client and you are considering which bank you want to use, based on new bonuses there are some organizations out there that provide bonuses such as the case of sofi also discover offers bonuses and there's a couple of others if you're interested in those i'm going to leave a link in the description but right now when it comes to ufb direct there's not available to everyone sometimes what these banks do is they offer perks and referral bonuses and new account bonuses to their clients or certain customers and it's kind of a closed loop but right now on their website they do not have available bonus for new accounts now when it comes to monthly fees i am a big believer in having high yield savings accounts with no monthly fees because that just ends up eating up on your savings and in the case of ufb direct they have zero monthly fees which is a pro in my eyes ufb direct also requires zero deposit in order to open your account and start earning the 5.25 percent they advertise now, here's something crazy that I've noticed with UFB Direct and something that I have never, ever, ever seen before. Now, we all know, or you need to know that FDIC insurance is important because we want to make sure that we get our money back in case something happens to the bank. Now, here's the crazy thing with UFB Direct. One of my personal benchmarks is having an organization that provides up to or at least $250,000 of FDIC insurance. Now, FDIC insurance of 250K is very standard. Most banks offer this. Some banks out there take it all the way up to 2 million, 8 million. Now, UFB Direct does something even crazier that I did not think was possible. And that is, they take this FDIC insurance up to $225 million. That's right, $225 million, almost a quarter of a billion dollars in FDIC insurance. Of course, in order to be part of this program, and if you have that much money, man, hey, 
let's connect. <laughs> if you have this much money, of course, you have to sign up for a special program. And I'm going to leave a screenshot of how that works here on the screen right now. This is honestly the best feature because I'm not seeing any other banks out there offer this much FDIC insurance. Now, moving on to the easy access slash transfer. One of the things that I like to see with banks that I'm considering is having a transaction length of three days max. What this basically means is if you are transferring out of your high yield savings account, how long does it take to reach your external bank? Now, in the case of UFB Direct, Usually it takes one to three business days once your account is established. That's based on the research. Now, there has been a few complaints. I have seen people complain how UFB Direct takes up to five business days for new accounts. Five business days is a little excessive. Now, I was doing some research and one of the reasons they do this is because they are now noticing a high increase in identity theft. So when you transfer money from your high yield savings to another account, they want to make sure that you are the one that owns both accounts. You are also on the receiving end, which is honestly something that I've also seen with, with Marcus. Marcus Bogoma Sats is an organization that I personally bank with. And customers were also complaining about how Marcus was taking too long to get their money to the receiving end. And one of the things they said was also the same thing. They want to make sure that you own both of your accounts, especially when it's new. So that's a warning, something to keep in mind in case you are trying to open a high yield savings account and then immediately transfer money to another organization. All right, so now when it comes to easy ways to deposit money, you can do a bank transfer, you can do a direct deposit, wire transfer. Wire transfer, by the way, if you are putting money in, it's no big deal, it's free, but if you're taking money out of your high yield savings account through a wire transfer, obviously there's a fee there. Now, one cool thing about this one high yield savings account organization is the fact that they do offer ATM cards with their high yield savings account, which is honestly uncommon. And if you live in the San Diego, California area, then they do have a headquarters that you can visit. But obviously, if you're considering this, probably most people are just all over the United States. All right. So now let's go into the withdrawal frequency limit. That is how many withdrawals are you allowed to make per month? Now, based on policies and based on the past, six is okay. If you have an organization that gives you a maximum amount of withdrawals of six per month. That is very standard. And there was a federal limit of six withdrawals for savings accounts, but the regulation was suspended back in 2020. Now it's up to banks to decide how many times they let their customers withdraw money. Now, the really good thing about UFB Direct here is one of the good things they have is they have unlimited number of withdrawals that you can make per month. So that's certainly a perk there compared to certain other organizations. Now, how easy is it to access your money in case of an emergency? You want quick money? Okay, then you can access your money online or the mobile app. You can do the ATM with actually this is savings, not with the checking. And if you're looking for a good interface, they have a very professional looking website. And I'm sure the mobile app is also going to be very professional. And they also have human customer service available. Now, I'm going to be warning you here that with respect to the human customer service, I have seen some, this, maybe I looked into this a little too much, but I was taking a little aback by the quality of customer service this organization seems to provide. Again, I'm just going by reviews that I'm seeing online, and I am a big believer in the warm and fuzzy feeling of an established brand. And I'm going to go over what exactly what this means. All right. So now when it comes to average reviews score from customers, according to Wallet Hub, which is a third party website that I like using. It has a 3.5 out of 5, which is about a 70% satisfaction of 81 reviews. And honestly, the the bar is not too high when it comes to reviews. And that's mainly because there's many customers, mainly disgruntled customers, people that have negative experiences with all organizations that go on to give their experience. And, honest, and obviously that ends up being a one or a two star. So let's just take this with a grain of salt. And one of the things that I like telling people here is, hey, Go over the reviews, see what people are saying and see whether or not it's a repeated offender. If there's something that keeps coming up or if it's something that it's may not even be relevant to you. You know, somebody may be complaining about loans and you're not looking to open a loan. You're looking to open a high yield savings account. So, of course, that's just an example, but this sets the stage and the context through which to, do, to look at these reviews. Now, looking at the established brand. Now, UFP Direct was founded originally in 1999. And it used to be called Bank of Internet and it changed its name. Now it's a subsidiary of Axos Bank. I think that's how you say that. And it's under 
Access Financial. Access Financial itself was founded in 2000 in San Diego, California. So as you can see here, it seems to have deep roots in the San Diego, California area. Now, let's look at the pros and cons of UFB Direct. Is it for you? Is this high yield savings for you? Now, some of the pros that this organization has is the it's one of the highest APYs available. There is no denying in that. There's also ATM access for savings, which is a little uncommon. Many times you have to open a checking account with other organizations in order to get an ATM. So that's very uncommon. Also, as it is this most mostly the, as it is the standard at this point with most of these high yield savings accounts, online high yield savings accounts, there is zero monthly fees and minimum deposit. And honestly, the, if you have a lot of money, the best feature that I've seen with this organization is the FDIC insurance up to 225 million. All right, so having said all of this, here's a few cons that I've identified. Now, no new account bonus for now, and this may be a con depending on what you're looking for. Also, there's no variety on products. And if you're looking for a hub, if you're looking for a way to have a checking account, a savings account, get some loans or do some investing, then that's not the place for you. There's other organizations out there that offer all-in-one services. Also, as I mentioned previously, there's long ACH transfers for new accounts. So, so that is the transfer that out of the high yield savings account onto your external bank. And this is also per client experiences. And this is just me. And for me, there's no warm and fuzzy feeling of familiarity, trust. And, and this is just me. I'm going over the research that I've been doing and I'm pulling all this information for you. But as of about a week or two weeks ago, I had never heard of this organization. And now I started looking into it. And quite honestly, it does not give me the warm and fuzzy feeling of trust, confidence, and familiarity, even for something that I just heard of. So would I recommend it to my mom? Ah, uh, you know, <laughs> This was a little bit of a struggle because I always like to see, or I, I, I try, I try to see the good in what people and organizations have to offer. But quite honestly, if I were recommended to my mom, I would say, no, there are other competitors that offer high, if not higher competitive APY and competitive interest. Sometimes, you know, it's not all about the interest. Sometimes there are situations where you sacrifice a little bit of the interest to be with somebody that you fully trust to to be with somebody that you feel familiar with that you said that you feel a sense of connection for many people in this case for example people that are very very loyal to american express or loyal to capital one my point here is there are other things beyond the high yield savings account interest that may persuade you to go in a different direction now the, it does not have an opening account bonus. There are other organizations, as I mentioned, like Sofa, that offers a $325, up to $325 bonus for opening an account. Also, more there's other organizations that also provide more familiarity and trust. And this is just, for me, a personal thing. There's also better customer service, which is a peace of mind. One of the things that I like about customer service is when an organization has great customer service, it really makes a difference. When I call my bank, they're always very polite. They're always very understanding, they're empathetic, and they solve the problems that I have right on the spot. Like I have never had a problem with the customer service of the organization that I bank with. Also, there are other organizations and other competitors that may give you the warm and fuzzy feeling of confidence, trust, familiarity. And unfortunately, for as much as I try to look at this bank in different perspectives, UFC, UFB, Direct, just me, it does not get me there. Now, the best UFB direct features, in my opinion, are, of course, the high APY of 525%, also the extremely high FDIC insurance, but let's be honest, most people will probably won't benefit from this. And again, these two things are just not enough to outweigh the warm and fuzzy feeling of confidence, trust, and familiarity. That's a very strong parameter and factor to take into account, in my personal opinion. But at the end of the day, of course, that's just me. Personal finance is personal, and maybe UFB Direct fits all your needs. Maybe you've been banking with them for a long time and you never had a problem. In that case, please let me know in the comments what your experience has been. Enlighten us with your wisdom. And with that being said, don't forget to check the links in the description. Like the video, subscribe to the channel. And with that being said, I'll see you guys on the next one. Peace.